right, it's Monday and um, we had promised to do a video with our lighting guy, but unfortunately we forgot that today is um, family day here in Ontario, so we have to continue harvesting anyhow. Um, we'll have him here at another time. So Wayne, I'll turn the camera around and Wayne will get uh, telling you about our way in. Morning everybody. I think Patty already told you what we're about to do here. We're but I wanted to show you some examples first before we start harvesting. And normally I would not harvest on a Monday because our all our customers are lined up different days of the week. But because I'm heading tomorrow to the fruit and vegetable conference down in Niagara Falls, and our 35-day test is over today was over yesterday, so we want to harvest it today. We're just very fortunate we have a, a local co-op that buys as much locally and organic as they possibly can. So I am happen to be going right by their door tomorrow, so I called them up and asked them if they'd be interested in some extra produce. Because normally I only supply them from March till December. And the reason why we're doing this test, because I want to be able to supply them all year round. And Kelly said, yeah, bring everything down. Whatever you can bring, they, they, want, all lo they want the local produce. So that just shows you if you get out there and shop around to some of the stores and restaurants, they all want this, this stuff, the quality of it is phenomenal. So if you get a chance, stop in and see them. It's called the Muskoka North Good Food Co-op in Huntsville. Great people to deal with. But anyways, let's get down to this, showing you what we found with the different lights that we've used. And I know what everyone's telling us about, you know, getting the power meter and checking things. Well, we don't have access to one right now. They are a lot of money, so I mean, really, the proof is in the pudding or in the lettuce. You know, you can see here, I'll give you an example right here. Here's Tropicana. So I planted them both January 11th. I just put this one beside it. This was not under the lights. I'm pretty sure you guys can see this. Yeah, like, look at the difference. Now, Tropicana is one of the better varieties that, without, the, without the artificial lighting. But uh, you could just see the difference in 35 days, you know, roughly five weeks. I'm sure when I harvest this out, I'm going to get about five pounds of lettuce off this one trough versus about a pound and a half off the one without light. Now, normally I wouldn't harvest them separately because I would put three different colors up here and work on them and harvest them into my tote there, that's right behind Patty. And that would be what I call our mix. And we just mix everything up. As we go, we sell a certain amount of heads every week, and the rest goes into a mix. So I could show you, I had five varieties. I have red oak leaf, or an organic mirror lettuce, which has done phenomenal under the lights. Rex, the Boston, the bib lettuce. The red Boston, which we'll go down farther in a minute and show you the difference again. I will harvest four of these right now, and then we'll show you, I'll show you the differences when I weigh them in out. I'm kind of cramped for space here, so I can't put it all on display at one shot. So what we'll do, we'll harvest them, I'll weigh them out, and we'll show you the difference. The only one I'm not going to harvest today, guys, is Green Boston, because these are, by Friday, will be big enough to take to the farmer's market. Uh, and I could sell these by the head for three fifty dollars a head. And out of the 16 in the trough, it looks like I'm going to get at least 14, maybe 15 of them that I can sell as a head. So it's a lot less labor, and I do need a certain amount of heads every week as well. So I can see that just by looking at the one down. There's no comparison. So we'll do that. We'll go down. We'll show how do you go down and show you the difference in the red box. Well, are we going to show them this too? Oh, the oak leaf. Yeah, the oak yeah. leaf. Yeah, so the difference. The difference. Help if I hold them up. Yeah. yeah, maybe. So this one here, this on the left was uh, under the light, and the one on the right was not. So you can see the difference. Planted the same, the exact same time. Yeah, I think we can see it better. Twice the size. Yeah. It's amazing. It's hard to catch on vi on film. I hope you guys can see, but huge difference. Under the Tropicana is probably the most evident. But look at the difference. Yeah, like that's huge difference yeah. from that to that. And, and I know the, the strength of the lights. People were saying that they weren't strong enough, but I mean, look at it. These are 11 feet long, so there's about uh, 10 feet from this lettuce to the one at the far end. There's not much difference. A little weaker maybe on this end a little bit but right through the whole thing I'm pretty happy with what uh, and that's yeah very happy but that's what um, a lot of people are asking I'll put the links for the other lights as well but the ones here from uh, LED solutions 
are the ones we really do like because they cover such a big area. Whereas the floodlights down below and the others right yeah, over here. Are about eight feet, so the other ones are covering three and four feet. So yeah. There's a huge difference. Uh, but we'll see. We'll harvest it out now and we'll, we'll see what we end up with. Okay, let's bring them down and show them the other. And here we're into the Red Boston. So again, the one on the right hand side wasn't under the lights and the one under on the left hand side was. And look at the difference. Planted the same time again. There is a huge difference. It's great. So, we're going to get weighing. Harvesting and weighing. Yep, I'll get started. So we'll do that and then we will um, come back. And this is one of the reasons why we are so short of space in here is because um, we already have our cherry tomatoes started in the soil to go into uh, greenhouse number two. Can't wait. All right, so. Oh, hey, yeah, hey, everybody, we're back. Yeah. So they're already bagged and everything, um, which we'll show you in a minute, but Wayne's got uh, the tally well, ready I got the for results, me. and Patty hasn't seen this yet, so. Yeah, I'll show her and she can explain it to you, sort of what we've done while I get those, the totes. Wow. Yeah, big difference, eh? Holy moly. This is what Chris... I mean, Here, you gonna, can, I'm going to hold the camera and you can do that because I can't do... We're actually going to have to go sit down and look at this stuff, guys, because this is off four troughs under the lights and four troughs not under the lights, which these lights actually cover twice that. You almost double these figures. But what really... Sh impressed me was this Tropicana. Four and a half pounds off the trough, or we do it in grams here in Canada, or, and yeah, well, that grams and pounds, the same thing in the end. Four and a half pounds, the Muir was two and a half, the Boston was just over two pounds, which I was really happy with. That's a Salanova brand. This is per trough, he's per talking. Per trough, yes. And the Oak Leaf, there's a real surprise because it looked beautiful, it looked large, but it is super light. Right, but the thing is, you can't just grow one kind unless you've got a huge market. Because we do a mix, we grow. We have to think about this a little bit. The oak leaf, oak leaf, people love the texture, the the lightness of it. So it was still significantly more than without lights. And here we have no lights. I hope they can see this. I don't know. I'm not very good at this. So 1.1 pounds without the lights. Two. Two and three quarter, or so one and three quarter. Mirror pounds. one point one pounds without the, or without the lights, and two point five three pounds with the lights. The Tropicana was the big difference, so almost a three pound difference. One and three quarter pounds versus four and a half pounds. Wow. And the Boston oak leaf were just under a pound each, and I knew we knew that from growing in you know for the last three or four years that uh, it's a struggle in the winter, and this is why we're doing this. But again, mm -hmm. it, it's twice the area. Yeah, yeah, so the Boston, really yeah, the Boston and the oak leaf are great for um, color and texture, but and the, the weight, green, the yeah. weight isn't. And we didn't even meant do the green Boston because I am going to sell them as heads, you know. So they they're working out. That, so we'll sell them at the market this Saturday for three fifty a head. There's 50, fifteen or sixteen in that tray. Wow. So, yeah, so that's pretty good too. But that this is, is where the real story awesome. tells us. Yeah. So uh, Patty's going to explain a little bit about this because I have bagged them up, got them ready for the customer. And at the farmer's market we charge different than what we charge for a, a store or wholesale to restaurants. And Patty can explain a little bit. Well, we'll the, get the totes out and yeah, I'll show pull, them how we do it. Pull a couple of them out. Yeah. It's pretty warm in here today. That's why it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Back. Actually, we have the door open. I'll probably bag them up right away. Beautiful. Okay, I'll move this. Sorry about the camera movement here, guys, but... All right. Beautiful stuff. So, this is what we call our um, spring hill mix. It's... Uh, I'll turn it around. It's fogging up on that side. So, there's four different varieties in here. Um, these are half-pound bags that we sell at market. Uh, we sell either one pound or half pound. We sell it for four fifty per half pound, yeah. and uh, when we sell the full um, full pound from here, from here it's eight fifty. Yeah. So nine dollars so, a pound at the market. Nine dollars a pound at the market, but we only bring half pound bags to the market. It's just easier. Um, and this is so. This is how we 
We have our 12 pound bags. We can use 10 pound or 12 pound bags. Um, the poly bags and just a twist tie and that's how we package and it's just uh, <clears throat> nothing gets squashed because when this pushes down the air protects it um, someone was asking us how we did that and we just put them into the totes and it's great for transporting so what did you want to well, say one other thing I, I was shocked when I was harvesting the amount of ladybugs and I don't know if that's because they're under the light or they're just, they've survived the winter. I found a tremendous amount of ladybugs in, in and among the lights. Yeah, so, so those of, sign. yeah, and the ones that don't know, we do bring uh, ladybugs in um, to help with our, with any bug problem. So we're doing their job. So, yep, yeah. that is beautiful looking lettuce. So a co-op should be happy tomorrow. Yeah. I'm hoping everybody so enjoyed it's this. It's been fun seeing the results and the, we sort of know which way we're going now. I'd like to thank Dave Murdoch from LED Solutions for these two. He just gave us two lights to uh, do our experiment. It's going to take 23 of these lights to fill this greenhouse up. But I mean, I'll sit down and figure out some more numbers because it's not just the weight. It's also going to, our turnover is going to be faster too. The rotations, the amount of lettuce we get. And uh, I'd like to see what the payback is on the lights. I know it's going to be quite quick. So and we're going to try and take advantage of any grant that's out there for agriculture in the area. Right? There is a couple that we can maybe get a few dollars to help us because it is a big expenditure for us to invest in these lakes. So anyways, guys, I hope that helps you. Yeah, See that's you perfect. Time. Okay, and before we do go, though, I'm going to um, put the... LED Solutions is just working on their website right now. So if you want to get a hold of Dave or Rune, um, actually, it'll be Dave because that's the only contact information I have. I'll put his email again and his phone number. Feel free to call him. Tell him Wayne and Patty at Spring Hill Farm sent you. And uh, he's very knowledgeable and he will help you out in any way he can. So, for now, Wayne's just putting that back in our cooler. Goodbye. Bye, guys.